If you stop feeding your golden retriever from a food bowl, you can help them calm down and stop jumping, barking, and biting so much. All you need to do is change how you feed them. I've used these three different ways to feed my golden and we're both happier and more relaxed because of them. The first alternative to feeding your golden retriever from a food bowl is to feed them in a puzzle toy. Here's the cool thing about goldens. They were bred to work, but when they don't have a job to do, they get bored. And we all know what happens when you have a bored golden retriever. Puzzle toys are great for golden retrievers because they have to roll, chew, or lick the toy to get their reward. It's a great mental workout for your golden. And the reward for doing this job is their favorite reward ever, food. But that's not even the best part. Many goldens eat their food way too fast and it can cause tummy problems, like them puking it all back up. But with a puzzle toy, there's no way for them to eat too fast because it takes time to get the food out. I ditched food bowls for puzzle toys about three years ago and my golden is still thrilled every morning and night to play with them and get his food. Now I know you might not want to go spend a ton of money on new toys without knowing if they'll actually work. So before I give you the best puzzle toys from all the ones we've tested, here's how you can just make one yourself. The easiest one is the towel treat. All you need is a towel and your dog's food. The simplest way to make this toy is to just put kibble in the center of the towel and fold it up. If you have a young puppy or you're just getting your dog into puzzle toys, this is a good starting spot. Level two for this game is to put the kibble in the towel and tightly roll it up into a breakfast burrito. This is a little harder than just rolling up the towel, but still relatively easy. Now if your golden is the undisputed towel treat champion, this next level is for you. First, put the treats in the towel, then roll it up long ways, and then tie it in a knot. Your dog will have to figure out how to untie the knot and open up the towel to get their food. Once your dog has mastered the towel treat, or if you just want to switch it up, you've also got the muffin tin game. This is where you put your pup's dinner in the different cups in a muffin tin. Then you put balls or other objects on top of the food that they need to move out of the way in order to get their meal. If you want to make it easy for your dog, leave a few of the cups unblocked so that they can see that's where the food is. And if you want to spice it up for your pup, then mix in some treats with your dog's kibble under the balls. Sometimes I even add a little peanut butter under there. There's another fun way to feed your dog dinner without having to buy any new toys, but we'll talk about that later in the video. If you don't want to take time to set up these DIY puzzle toys every day, there are some great puzzle toys you can buy. Here are some of my Golden's favorites. The first one is the Orby Snoop. This is a simple rubber toy that folds in on itself and forms something like a deep bowl for your Golden's kibble, but with a catch. Food can slide up in the sides and kind of hide from your Golden. At first, your dog will probably stick their tongue in the toy to get the food out, but once they've gotten all the easy pieces, they'll roll and flip it around. One downside with this toy is that, depending on how much you feed your Golden, the toy might not be able to hold their entire meal, but that's not a problem with these next few toys. Next up is the Kong Wobbler. This is the most popular toy in this list. But first, here's a quick reminder to subscribe if you want to raise your golden retriever into the best dog they can be. Now the Kong Wobbler is the most challenging for my dog. This takes him the longest time to get his dinner out, and after it, he's left totally exhausted. The only downside about this toy is that it's not always obvious the food is gone when my dog is finished. The bottom is weighted with sand, and I found him tossing it around, desperately looking to get one last piece when there's actually none left, and it kind of breaks my heart. On the opposite end of the popularity spectrum is the Orby Soul. Now here's the kicker. If you feed your dog Royal Canaan Golden Retriever with the big kibbles, none of these other toys are good fits for you because the kibbles are so big and the holes are too small. But the Orby Souls treat dispensing hole is the perfect size for these big kibbles. The Kong Bamboo is similar to the Orby Soul in that it's a round ball, but with smaller holes that are perfect for smaller pieces of kibble. Then we've got the Nata Rock, which is actually my favorite dinnertime puzzle toy to give my dog. This is a fun rubber toy that your dog will throw and roll around to get their food out. 
It's hard enough to make it fun and challenging, but not too hard that my dog gets frustrated, which sometimes happens with the Kong Wobbler. Plus, it's dishwasher safe. I'm not 100% sure, but I think the only other dishwasher safe toy in this list is the Kong Wobbler. Although it shouldn't be a deal breaker because these toys are pretty easy to clean with soap and water. I'll drop links in the description for where you can get each of these toys. Now your golden retriever will love eating their meals out of puzzle toys, and they'll be left content and tired. But if you have a puppy, or if your golden is a little on the heavy side, then here's another option for you. Feeding them as you're training them. There's no rule that says you have to feed your dog in a bowl. And feeding them through training is a great way to get consistent training in and not give them extra calories. This is especially important for golden retrievers since they're big foodies and they're susceptible to becoming overweight, which can be bad for their heart and joints. Not to mention, feeding and training them is a great way to build a bond with your golden because you're combining three of their favorite things. You, working, and probably their most favorite thing, food. You can train them during mealtime on the basic commands, like sit and down, or you could teach them tricks, like spin and shake. Then you've also got some fun training games you can play with them. A fun game to play with young puppies, which combines both exercise and recall training, is treat toss. This is where you toss a piece of kibble across the room so your puppy has to chase it. Then you show them a piece of kibble in your hand so they come running back to you. If you have a partner, you can take turns calling your dog to you in your house or your yard. To spice this game up, we sometimes ask our golden to do a trick or a command when he comes to us. Both of these games are great because they practice the most important command, getting your dog to come to you when you ask. Now I probably wouldn't feed my puppy their whole meal through playing treat toss because it's a little repetitive and requires a lot of running. I'm not trying to get them sick. I'd probably mix in a puzzle toy or the next alternative way of feeding them. But speaking of puppies, if you've got a golden retriever puppy, then check out our golden retriever puppy handbook, which gives you a game plan for the first 30 days of raising your golden retriever puppy. Now, if breakfast or dinner time isn't a good time for you to train them, then here's another way to feed them, through a scavenger hunt. This is kind of like the lazy person's puzzle toy. You're still letting your golden use their brain and nose to find their food, but you're not hiding the food in a toy. You're hiding it around your house. Depending on how often you do scavenger hunts with your golden, you might need to start easy at first and make the hiding places obvious or give them a trail to follow. But as they get more practice, they'll soon be master food finders. And if you're really short on time, even just scattering their food across the ground is fun for them. They love using their nose to find food and this is an easy way to let them do it. These different ways of feeding your golden will make life easier for you and your pup. But if you want to see what to avoid doing with your dog, check out these ways you're accidentally hurting your golden retriever without even realizing it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.